What is up guys, it is New Year's Eve and I am currently sitting under a bridge in like 28 degrees trying to catch some catfish. But yeah, I got some shad left over from James River. Got that cut up and out, two rods out. Water has been on the rise, so hopefully I can find some channel cats or maybe even some little blues or something because we don't have big blues in this pool yet. Hopefully I can find some catfish that are willing to eat. Kind of cold, I'm a little underdressed. I know it looks like I'm bundled up, but I hardly layered up at all underneath this. Don't got a lot of time. It's like I go to my brother's to celebrate New Year's. But yeah, I don't know, figured I'd come out here freeze my ass off, try to catch some fish. Could be shooting this intro right now for no reason whatsoever. But I don't know, let's get after it. Stay tuned. Oh my God. I can't tell, but it's just rip and drag. Got a good hit, guys. Got a fairly good hit on this orange one right here. Okay, they're both actually getting hit now. I don't know if they might just be small fish. What is up, guys? It is actually a couple days later because you guys saw that I completely sucked at trying to catch a catfish the other day. But came up with a little idea. We are at the farm pond. You guys have seen, I don't know, probably three or four times now. And we are going to see if hot dogs can outfish cut shad here gonna be pretty interesting because catfish love shad. I got my giant cat rods with me and a lot of these fish aren't that big so this is gonna be interesting to see if I can even catch anything on tackle that big. It's super super windy. It's supposed to be like 47, 48 degrees right now but it feels like it's 30. I should have layered up more because it is freaking cold out here. But yeah you guys probably saw that one video where we did hot dogs versus uh, the doe bait or whatever. It's gonna be kind of similar to that except it's gonna be wild caught cut shad that I actually brought back from the James River, and then we're going to need to use some cheese dogs that I got from Dollar General. And we're going to see which hot fish which. I don't really know which is going to work better. Hot dogs here always tear up, but, uh, you know, catfish love shad, so I don't know. We'll see. Stay tuned. I brought, like, my huge tackle out here. Dude, this wind... This wind is not cool. All right, I'm not going to cut huge pieces, because these are big shad. Got the wieners. I just feel like smaller is better here. These aren't my biggest hooks, but they're pretty big for here. I want to catch a big one though. Yeah! yeah that's why I like buying these. I feel like we've only caught like one decent fish in here and it was like malnourished. Full send. Wish I could cast across the pond. Oh god. That was weird. That'll work out. Huh? All right, now I just sit here and do nothing. See what happens. Definitely going to overkill on the tackle in here. I had a dog re rigging. We might not even get any. All these cabbage might be like, it's cold. The wind is serious, that's for sure. You're on. You were on. Oh, he's clear over there. He's probably on. You didn't cast it over there, did you? He carried all the way over there and drop it. Like, I don't know. You got him? Okay. Hot dog? It's a monster! Oh my god. See that's gonna be my problem is like I got huge hooks and that guy's not very big. Okay, score one for the hot dog. Maybe. The problem is he's on. Oh he's on. Oh ho, ho, ho. I wasn't yeah. expecting that. That big hook. The big hook. That has to be a good sign. Then that means if they can get, choke the shad down. I can't remember. This might be. Is this, is this a shad or is this a hot dog? I don't even remember. I think it's a hot dog. It's a hot dog. I can see it. Man. Score two for the hot dog. I was a little worried the hot dog was gonna still kick ass. We're gonna have to go do this somewhere else to see if it's just here. That hook actually worked perfect. This is a little guy too, so. Water is cold. Hot dogs don't do nothing, dude. What the hell? Later, bud. Man. Well, Mark just got another one on the hot dog, so that's three nothing now, hot dog. Dude, this is crazy. I expected the shad would like hold its own because 
I mean, Chad. Yeah. In my opinion, I think because this pond's full of right, bluegill. Right, we're going to have to do this somewhere else. Well, I'm just saying, I think like anything that's like a dead fish, bluegill is going to be what it's going to be. But All right, guys, so, so far we've got three on the hot togs and absolutely nothing on the shad. He thinks he might have had one hit on the shad. I'm kind of shocked. Like, they love hot dogs in here, but still, like, it's shad. It's stinky shad. It should be, like, in their DNA to eat shad. So, I don't know. We're going to see if we can get... I want to catch one on the shad. Like, that's my goal right now. I just want to at least get one on the cut shad. I don't know why. Like, I've caught plenty of fish on shad. I just... It's amazing me that we haven't got one. It's crazy. Oh. Not really. I we're on the hot dog. I thought, it, I thought I saw it going left. Oh, there it is. Ski it. I think that one was on for a while. <sighs> that was a skinny catfish, man. Doesn't make any sense. No doubt. Oh my god. I mean, I'm surprised how well the surf hooks are working, even as small as it's good. It's a weird looking fish. For nothing. Well, guys, I think the uh, I think the hot dogs are going to win this. Because that is for nothing now, and I'm running out of time. Weird colors on this one. It almost looks like a blue, but I know it ain't. There, bud. I thought I saw that going left. It's amazing the big circle hooks are working out well. Silly. I feel like it's dropped like 12 degrees since we've been out here. Not a, not even a nibble on the shad. Like, eh, unbelievable. All right, guys, we're hiding in the car because it's freaking cold. It's super windy. It had to have dropped 10 degrees at least while we were out there. Like, it got so cold. I didn't dress for it because I saw that it was 48 when we left, and there's no way it's 48 now. It feels like it's 38. Damn wind chill. Who knows? We caught four fish on the hot dogs. We didn't even get a nibble on the shad, I feel like. Like, that was, no. that was ridiculous. I don't even think we got a nibble. I don't understand it. But for some reason, this pond, like, I feel like they love hot dogs here. I don't know why. They just do. So, I mean, obviously the hot dogs won. But I think we're going to have to do this again somewhere else. I'll probably wait for like the summer to do that or something when the bite's going to be better. I feel like to really prove which bait is better for channel cats. Because I mean other catfish aren't going to eat. Like flathead very, hardly ever eat hot dogs and stuff. So I don't know. We're going to have to do this somewhere else and see then until we get like the real results I feel like. Because I think it's pond's a little biased. But uh, yeah, I know this wasn't the most lit video ever. But like I said, it is January in Northern West Virginia and half the stuff was frozen a week ago and then it all thawed and it froze again. Like it's just, our weather's just ridiculous right now. I didn't really have time to take the kayak out. Probably gonna be getting the kayak out soon and do some winter bass fishing because I got a few spots where I know I can catch a good fish in the winter. And uh, that's probably gonna be the next couple videos. That's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please smash the subscribe button, hit the like button. I'll see you next time.